this country of ours will no longer be referred to, officially or unofficially, as the colony of Southern Rhodesia. It is now Southern Rhodesia. And at the same time, I agreed that we would never refer in the future to the United, uh, to the United Kingdom or the government of the United Kingdom. It will be now Britain and the British government. And so far as we're concerned, of course, there may be some significance in this change. In fact, there is. We have not been a colony for a very long time, and I thought it was quite time that this was publicly recognized. In so far as the United Kingdom, or now Britain is concerned, this has, there's nothing significant in this. They have been making this change for some time, and it was suggested that as this change has been made unofficially, that in this country it should be recognized as being official. But I want to make one or two things clear in regard to this issue of independence, as to what our object really is, and what the object of this country must be in seeking to obtain this, and what it really means. And I think I can safely say that our object is to make clear, both here and to the rest of the world, that no one can interfere in our affairs. That the British government cannot, not just will not, but cannot suspend or interfere with our constitution. And that we in our turn, if they did, would not recognize any such interference. Now that is our object.